So this surprised me a lot. Uh, so you go back and if you want to watch it all the way through, um, at the end of the video will actually be my initial disassembly of the knife. And surprisingly I'm keeping this an assisted knife uh, because the way that the XR lock works on this knife now for the Trident, uh, it acts kind of like an assist uh, so you can't really drop shut um, so it doesn't have that fidget factor that I liked about uh, kind of that access style. I know they've been around for about the same period of time, at least from the interview that was given. Uh, but uh, this one at least now operates kind of like uh, one of my other ones that I like quite a bit, uh, which is going to be the blur. So you can actually disassemble, disengage the lock, and then push the rest closed. Uh, this one, so the same thing, I can disengage, disengage the lock and push the rest closed. And so what I found when I uh, took it apart, I did leave this off though. Uh, so this I'm not going to put back on. I don't think it needs a safety. Uh, so for anybody that's concerned uh, with it going to disengage in your pocket, um, that's something that you can do for yourself. Uh, but it's a pretty good little design here. I mean, that's where how it works. Uh, so it's just a rocker switch. Uh, so this actually goes in front of the bar. Uh, so basically as uh, you go and put the safety on, this moves up so the bar can't move at all and then when it rocks back down to being able to be red uh, then that's where you can actually use the, the me mechanism as intended uh, but not needed very simple to take out um, it actually fell out now when I initially did the the original disassembly but just leaving it out don't need it uh, but uh, this is going to be uh, how it is now uh, so uh, one thing I did add in uh, I had one of these laying around uh, so these little Teflon type of little almost paper thin little washers uh, so this is actually something that I think is necessary so either to um, make the original washer a little thicker I mean that's only like 0 .007 let's see millimeters 0 0.18 millimeters for that but that makes a lot of difference in this lock uh, so uh, initially when I got it in, uh, so kind of something that goes along with SOG in general, um, they kind of have kind of a lower tolerance in a sense. Uh, so uh, it's it got better with this and then with adding uh, one of these little itty bitty things, uh, it got even better. So initially when I was using it, it had a good deal of side to side play uh, for the, the knife and with adding that in, um, it actually it took it away. So. I would recommend SOG, and I, I know you guys are making a new run at it, but it seems like that's all you really need is just extend it a little bit or throw one of those um, underneath that uh, steel washer or steel, um, no, steel washer, uh, and then that will take away um, that issue. And it actually has a drop shot because initially when I did this, uh, you'll see in the disassembly side, so I took out the spring and then I tried to use it, and then it just was binding. Uh, so I couldn't actually drop it shut. Um, and they were just binding up because uh, then basically that little tab that's on this blade uh, was actually making contact with uh, the metal surface so it didn't have enough clearance so it actually wasn't really riding on the bearing so this is riding on bearings not on uh, washers uh, so that's kind of a different thing for this one too um, but really some ingenious things with the knife uh, so for these backspacers uh, they actually are D-shaped uh, so it actually goes into this uh, this pummel so this pummel is metal uh, so that's actually a pretty solid piece there and it's d-shaped into this uh, backspacer so this won't be something that you can it won't free spin on you so it makes disassembly really good uh, also weird though with this t6 so t6 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 uh, so it comes off apart really easily uh, springs are easy to work with uh, when you initially open it everybody like, oh there's a lot of springs but uh, it's really simple to put back together uh, but this just works really well uh, but in the manual mode, like I couldn't, so I would basically drop it and it would basically still be here. Because uh, then the way that the XR lock works, it kind of still starts to make contact at this point, and it pushes over, pushes over, and it becomes the detent uh, for the lock. Uh, so that's where um, maybe if this uh, was a little bit further, where it actually you're able to take up the full slack, uh, so it wouldn't make contact, and that would make it a lot better for the manual version if they are going to make a manual version for it. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, I'm probably going to leave it as an assist. Uh, it works pretty well like that to be able to do those things. But overall, um, I'm pretty happy with what SOG's done. Uh, granted, this is the operator knife. Uh, so this is very, very grippy. 
Uh, so that is, that's gonna eat up your pocket. So if you're gonna not be an operator and not putting this on maybe your chest plate or something else, this is, that's that's gonna be horrible. Uh, so you gotta take, take some sandpaper to that, work it down a little bit, because uh, this is going in and out of the pocket, you're gonna have no pocket left. Uh, so that's one thing kind of bad about this. Uh, but again, for the purpose, what it wants to be, uh, then that's fine. Uh, I just don't think it needs uh, that safety. The safety wasn't bad. It was better than what they were before because um, then the safety used to be uh, kind of up on this section here. So whenever you put your thumb on it, you'd be pressing into that lock. Uh, so um, the lock that they had on there, uh, which is this one, it does work well. I do like it better, uh, but I just don't think it's necessary. So, I mean, I guess I could probably maybe inertia flip it. Nope. I cannot. I can't inertia flip that. Um, so yeah. I think that's pretty good. If you want to look at the pain that I had uh, for disassembly, watch uh, all the way through. Uh, this will be the next part of this. It will be the disassembly side. But SOG, good job on overall uh, for how you put it together. Uh, oh, also, that if you're going to do a glass breaker, that is good. So glass baker right there, this is fantastic. Because uh, most times the glass breaker is on the back. So anytime you put any type of finger up here, uh, then you're gonna be poking into that glass breaker. Um, but this one has a good uh, grip to it. So if you are gonna use that glass breaker, so this will probably be, end up being my car knife. Uh, so just be able to pop that glass, glass breaker right at the end. Good job, good engineering on that, good design. Um, I haven't tested the seatbelt cutter, but it'll be good to have. Uh, but overall, good tolerance, not great. Add that little piece in there um, to, I think it was this side, one of the sides, wherever the spring is uh, for it. But it's a little flat spring. Check out the other video. Uh, but let me know in the comments. But that's about all I have to say about that one today. I was going to play Burkin to bring you specifications you can write to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. David with Blade Banter. Uh, this is a kind of an off the cuff type of thing. Uh, the Trident AT Automatic Technology. Uh, this is going to be a new knife from them, or fairly new. Uh, studies and Observation Group, um, or as you know it as SOG. Uh, so this is kind of um, their resurrection of their brand, at least in my mind. Uh, so this is one that was interesting. This one it came over from uh, Dual Sport Survival. Uh, so I bought it from him after he did all his testing. So check out his video as far as the testing on this. Uh, it held up, still pretty good. But I am going to try and disassemble it. And I'm gonna to try to de-assist it. Uh, because personally, I don't like the assisted. Uh, and I'm gonna see if that's uh, even possible. And then also I'll see if I can remove uh, the safety because I don't think it's necessary. But this is how the safety works. So you, you see the little kind of a block out that goes right there. So safe and active. So that's going to be how that works. So I don't know how long this video is going to take. I did. It's going to basically be in open position. So all the spring tension is off of it. We're going to take it apart, see what it looks like, see if I lose any springs along the way. And uh, we're going to kind of go from there. Uh, I think this starts out as a T6 for some reason. Yeah, oddly enough. So, uh, so first off, that's a weird thing to start with. So T6 is where this is for a pivot screw, which is very small, but T6 across the way. So I guess on the plus side, um, it's going to be T6 um, everywhere instead of T8 and T6, but it's just kind of a weird thing to have it be a T6 pivot when most times you see a T8 pivot. Uh, so we're going to take this apart. Uh, overall, I mean, it's very grippy. This is supposed to be the operator edition. So this is like super grippy stuff. Uh, and also that's the downside uh, as far as the clip goes. It's also super grippy there. Uh, so that's not a great thing. But I haven't taken this apart before. So when I lose things or if I break something, which I might do, um, you're going to be along for that one. But Pocket Clips is actually a really nice one. It still has this na their name on it, but it doesn't say like SOG across the whole thing, which is kind of what they used to do uh, for their knives. Uh, so we got new person at the helm. Uh, so that's basically all you have for that, which is 
little bit of bitty sog right there, which is which is decent. So that's not too bad. So that's that. So I'll go over the pivot. Take that apart. So again, T6 across the way. We'll see what this looks like on the inside. Pivot out. It should just come apart. Maybe. Oh, I missed the screw. I missed the screw. So I thought when I took the pocket clip off, that was all the body screws, which it wasn't. There was one last screw. So that's all the body screws. So there's four body screws, plus the pivot, plus the pocket clip. That should be everything, but still doesn't want to come apart. Hello. Okay, so that's that scale. That's kind of a scary spring. Okay, so that spring is going to be there. Um, that's going to be a pain to put back together. Um, but we'll take that off. scale so I'm not really sure what's going on there so that spring works that okay so that hooks in so this hooks into this and it goes onto there and drops onto there Interesting. This seems like two different springs. Yeah, so there's two different springs. So one for the button and one for this area. So that's still stuck in there. So I don't know what's going on with that. So this is going to be a pain to put back together already. We'll see what this other one's going on with. That pin fell out. Okay, so that is that one. So this is the safety. So that seems like it should just be able to be dropped right out of there. Because that goes right here and that locks out that. Backspacer. So little washers, I mean the uh, bearings. two already all right so that's the spring so it's kind of a flat spring instead of like the a lot of the automax has like kind of a um, regular coil spring there's like a flat one so that hopefully I should be able to take out with a problem and yeah So that should be the D assist already. And it seems to have some type of detent ball. So hopefully that's the closed detent. We'll 
Control C. So this closes down. I don't think that's a closed detent though. So it might be out of luck. But we're going to put it back together, um, see how that is. Uh, it might be broken at this point, but I think I kind of have an idea how this goes back together. So that's going to go there. And that's going to go there. Then we're going to put the pivot back in. Then once we get everything back together and I figure out how this works, uh, then I will probably do some lubrication. So at least I've D-shaped right and I'll pivot for that so it's not going to be going all over the place, uh, which is a good thing. Other side here. So I should be able to drop this back on. So bearing. Drop that back on. Another bearing. That's back together. Then, so the safety is off. I did not put that back, but I do want this spring back on there. So this spring is gonna go on first and then clip into this hole like so. And then this one's going to go on. Maybe. So a lot of springs. So hopefully this and these hold up pretty well. And that's going to go on to this and back on there. That operates. So we should be back together. Slap that one back on. And then, so the big test is going to be when I actually try and close it and see if it actually has a detent. Because if it does not have a detent and that spring acts as such, uh, then I'm out of luck and I got to put it back together with a spring. So I'm taking a Trident AT to make it a Trident M. Because I want to make a manual version. All these screws look the same, so body screws back in. So again, four body screws, one pocket clip screw, screw left and right hand carry, uh, whichever way you want to do that. Uh, if I do keep this one, uh, I am going to probably um, sand off a lot of this grippiness uh, because for the pocket clip, that is going to eat my pants up. And that I do not care for. So body screws back together. Where that that's facing up more. So why is that so proud? I think something happened there. So that's interesting. Okay, so that little barrel screw popped out a little bit. So I tighten that down, now it's back flush. The other side's flush. Kids are in the background doing some stuff. Whoop. These mats are so nice. Otherwise, I would have bounced right off the table. Then, other uh, body screw. Right there. No, I don't need to put the pocket clip on yet because this is pretty much back together. And it seems to have a detent. So that's a plus. So let's tighten this down the rest of the way. It is very off-centered. Still off-centered. Not sure what's going on with that. That's a mess. 
So it, it opens, it locks, but it does not fall shut. Now that's pretty horrible. So you can deassist it. I'm gonna play around with it more, uh, see if I can actually figure out uh, why the action is so horrible, and then we will come back. So I'm gonna take it apart again. One moment.